y'all, I think I have a severe addiction to purple eyeshadow. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel and look I have a updated background behind me. I love it. I think it looks so pretty and just adds some personality but in today's video we are going to be playing with purple eyeshadow. I absolutely love purple eyeshadow and I thought it would be so fun to grab my favorites from my collection which are right here in my hands. There are seven of them. I did narrow it down because there's quite a few. I have a severe love affair for purple eyeshadow palettes. It's my absolute favorite but I grabbed all these out of my collection and I thought that I could show you some up close pictures, some swatches, and create a look with each and every one of them so I can give you a little bit of inspiration and, I don't know, help you dig into your uh, collection and maybe create a purple look yourself. But if you want to know which seven palettes I have right here and see a look using each and every one of them, then stick around for the rest of the video. Okay, y'all, so we are going to start with the Unearthly Cosmetics Dead of Night palette right here. So this is what it looks like, this beautiful palette. Now, I know that this is not a monochromatic purple palette, but this is definitely a go-to purple palette for me whenever I want to create a purple look. So I am going to stick with just the purples in this palette. I'm not going to pop into the other colors that are absolutely gorgeous. But I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start with this shade right up here. It's called Sweet Dreams. And I am just going to pop that into my crease just like this. I have already primed with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. I have really, really been enjoying that one lately since my MAC Paint Pot has... It's not completely dried up, but it's just not, I need to replace it and I just haven't. I figure I've got enough primers right now. It's not like a, um, it's not a emergent need. So I'm just going to keep blending that and like patting and blending into my crease and just above. So when I open my eye, you can see that purple. Okay, I'm going to take that same color and I'm just going to blend it underneath my lash line, my lower lash line, bringing it all the way over and just smoking it out. Okay, next with a Game Beauty EO2, I'm going to pop into this purple right here called Dimness and I'm just going to pack that on to my outer corner just like that to deepen her up this is going to be a super simple quick easy purple eyeshadow look okay again with that same color and the same brush i'm going to just tap this along my lower lash line a little closer into my waterline keeping it nice and tight just to give a little bit of darkness and depth. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and popped some NYX Glitter Glue onto my lid. We're going to go in with a shimmer. So we're going to start with this shimmer right here, which is called Star. And I'm going to pop that all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with this one right here called Dead of Night, which is almost like a blurple color. And just pop that right where those two colors meet. So we have a nice blend. So, so pretty, very iridescent. I absolutely love it. I love the unearthly formula. It is definitely one of my absolute favorite brands, but their eyeshadows are just so beautiful. The mattes are super creamy, easy to work with, and their shimmers, they are so much better now than they were when this palette came out. Like these are stunning, but their shimmers now will blow your socks off. They are so, so pretty. 
Okay, let's go ahead and pop on that next color, Dead of Night. See how it's just like a, a blurple color, but it's just going to close in right here and help to blend those colors together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye look and I will show you the completed look with the Dead of Night palette. All right, y'all. So this is the completed look using the Dead of Night palette. I absolutely love it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see. I went in with my Glam Light Calligrapher eyeliner on my um, lash line. And then in my waterline, I went in with my NYX Epic Wear liner in, where's this? Fierce, yes, Fierce Purple to uh, do my waterline. And then for mascara, I went in with the Blend Bunny Omni Lash. Um, oh, I also popped in a little bit of the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten, which I'm wearing on my face. I did pop that in my inner corner to finish off this look, but I absolutely love it. I love those shimmers. I love the purples. I just love the way that this comes together and yeah, Unearthly is a favorite brand, but let's go ahead and move on to the next purple palette. Okay, for our next palette, I have this one right here. This is the Matte Pressed Pigment Palette from Sugar Drizzle. Now, this is an all matte palette, and it is, as you can see, it is a purple lover's dream. Yes, it's a little bit redundant. It probably could have been curated down a little bit, but it is every purple matte you could possibly dream of and have. I like to use this palette um, with singles. So if I have a single shadow that I want to try out and it's going to go well with purples, this is the one that I pull out and I go to. So we're going to do a look with this palette, but I'm also going to pull in um, an Ensley Rain single from in here. This came out with um, the Cold Moon collection, I believe, but I will leave everything, of course, linked and listed down in the comments so or in the description box so you know what we are using. But I have already gone in and primed my eyes with, of course, my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. So let's go ahead and start this look off. So for this one, I'm going to start with this shade right here. It is called Lavender Ice, and I'm just going to fluff that into my crease and i am using a game beauty e05 brush i'm just going to tap that in and blend up now that we have that beautiful um lavender shade on our lid i want to deepen it up just slightly and i think i'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here which is called icing i'm going to pick it up with the same brush all i did was wipe that brush off so i'm going to pick up that shade icing and i'm going to bring that into my crease just slightly below where that lavender shade is just to give it a little bit of depth so this is a really nice formula. Sugar Drizzle is usually known for their multi-chromes and like shimmer shadows, but um, they have been doing some more matte shades and palettes recently, and they do have a nice formula. I do enjoy it. So see how I'm just meeting that right up to that lavender color, and I'm going to leave that there. Okay, let's go ahead and deepen this up just a little bit more. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Amethyst Rain. And for this, I'm going to go in with a Game Beauty E02 brush. Yes. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to tap that right here in oh, like the outer almost half of my lid. Just bringing that color into play and bringing it right up to that lavender shade so we have a nice gradient now i will say i do get just a tiny bit of fallout with this palette but it does um it does fluff away so it's not a big deal and it's not a lot it's just like the tiniest little bit you can see it right there But 
this is a beautiful palette if you're just looking for a bunch of purples. I would definitely recommend this one. It will be linked in the description box. So I think I want to leave that there, but I also want to bring this down into my lash line. And I want to bring it, I think, all the way over. I'm just going back with that first shade that we used, that beautiful lavender called Lavender Ice. And I'm just softening the edges of the Amethyst Rain shade. Now I'm taking that second color that I used, the icing color, and I'm just going to fluff it below that purple on the lower lash line. Let's add just a touch more drama to this look with this shade right here called Purple Dragons. I just want to lightly, with a Game Beauty E07 brush, tap that just right here in that outer corner, just so, so slightly, just giving an extra touch of drama so it's not going to do a whole whole lot but it's going to add just that little bit of depth that i want i am just putting on a little bit of my nyx glitter glue right here so we can jump into the shimmers and finish off this look now obviously you could leave this right here and maybe even bring in that lavender shade but I want to add some sparkle and play a little bit with this Ensley Rain singles that I have okay so to finish off this look I'm gonna go in with frozen halo right here from the cold moon collection from Ensley Rain so let me just pick this up on my finger I am going to tap that on my lid so so pretty so shifty and beautiful i'm just going to lightly bring that over the purple okay next i'm going to go in with the snowdrop fairy shade right here from the same collection and i'm just going to pop that into my inner corner so I am going to grab my Singe Beauty E01 brush and I'm just going to pick that up and pop it right here in my inner corner. Beautiful. Love it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye look and I will be back to show you the completed look. All right, all. So this is the completed eye look using the matte pressed pigment palette from Sugar Drizzle right here. What do we think? I want y'all to let me know. I do love the purples in this palette. I think that they are just so beautiful and so blendable. Um, again, like I said, could this have been curated down quite a bit? Yes, it absolutely could have, but I do love the colors in here. I love the way that they perform. I love that we also have these three little pops of teals in here as well, but you have everything in here from warm tones to cool tones. You've got a little bit more of dusty. You've got um, some pastel. You've got a little bit of brighter pastels. It, it is a really good palette, and like I said, if you just want one good purple matte palette, this is definitely one to go for. But let me tell you what I finished off my eye look with. So I did go in and fill in my brows with my Urban Decay Brow Gel right here. And then I did my, um, my upper lash line with my Glam Light Calligrapher Eyeliner right here that I've been using and enjoying. As well as my lashes with the Blend Bunny Omni Lash Mascara. And then for my waterline, I went in with the Odin's Eye Salmane uh, Gel Liner in 008 just right in that waterline to give it just a little bit of a pop and it turned out beautiful. I love it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next palette. 
Okay, so our next palette comes to us from Melt Cosmetics. It is the She's in Party palette right here. Now, this is more of a mauve color story, but it is just such a beautiful color story. I absolutely love it, and mauves are in the purple color family, so I put it in that same category. Now, this is such a beautifully curated palette. The, um, the formula is beautiful. The mattes are creamy and buttery. They blend beautifully. The shimmers are beautiful in here. They are not, um, they're not super shifty or super sparkly. They're just a really pretty like metallic um, shimmer formula. Now, Melt is an indie brand, if you don't know about Melt, but they are more of a mainstream indie brand, so they're a little easier. They have more they're more easily accessible than maybe some of the other brands that I'm talking about. Melt can be found in Sephora. I don't know if this one is available in Sephora. I will link it through Sephora if it is available there. If not, you can get it through the Melt website. But let's go ahead and create a palette with this look. So again, I've already primed my eyes. And for this look, we're going to start with the dark color right here. This one is called Mean Streak. So I am going to go in with a Sigma E54 brush right here and I'm just going to tap this and tap this into my outer corner. Beautiful. Y'all, I think I want to turn this into a spotlight eye, so I'm just going to continue that color into my inner corner. Yeah, bring on the drama. So with a Sigma E53 brush, I am just fluffing that really light, dusty purple, this color right here just along the outer edge of that first shade to give it a little bit of softness. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a Game Beauty E10 brush right here, and I'm gonna pick up that first shade that we used, Mean Streak, and I'm just going to line my lower lash line I am not going to bring this far down. I'm not dispersing it a whole lot. I'm just using this like a powder liner. I'm gonna bring that all the way across, meeting up at that inner corner. We are going to bring the drama with this look. Now I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E05 brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here that is called Last Caress. And I am just going to very lightly smoke out that lower lash line with this color. You're definitely bringing the drama with this look. I wanted to do something a little different than what I normally do with my eye looks i feel like they can get a little repetitive over time but we are doing this um i don't know how well this eye is going to turn out i can feel it starting to water it's going to drive me nuts and if i go over in that corner it's just going to be a mess so we're going to do the best we can all right let's do some shimmer on this lid let me throw on my nyx glitter glue right in the middle and we're gonna finish this look up. I'm going to take the color right here called Strange Love, and I am just going to pop that all in the center. And all the way up. Like that, they trust the process. It's looking crazy, I know. Don't worry. Okay, so now that I have that tapped on there, I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is called Lost Control. 
and I'm just going to take a tiny amount and I'm going to pop it right where that mat and that shimmer meet on both sides. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. This eye is falling apart on me. We're going to kind of ignore it. It's over it today. It's over makeup this week, I think is what it is. But there we go. That is really pretty, really fun. I'm going to go ahead and do the finishing touches, and I will be back to show you this completed look with the She's and Parties palette. All right, y'all, so this completes the look with that palette. What do we think? I think it turned out really, really beautiful. Something a little bit different. We're going to ignore this eye over here because it is pulling up and it's a mess. It's over it for the week. But um, this one came out absolutely beautiful. I did go ahead and do my waterline with my Il Maquillage um, liner in Oreo. It was a black liner. And then I also threw on my Blend Bunny mascara, which is right here. I didn't do a um, liquid liner just because I wanted to really keep that spotlight look on this eye. But you can see that that shimmer is definitely, it's reflective, it's beautiful. It's just not, it's not like a wowing shimmer formula, but their mattes are where it's at. Their mattes are beautiful. I do love this palette. It is definitely a go-to for me. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful purple palette. So let's go ahead, go ahead. That was weird. Let's go ahead and move on to our next palette. All right, y'all, so the next palette that we are going to go in with is the Ultraviolet Palette from Deandra Nicole and Bella Beauty Bar. This is what she looks like right here. This is the most beautiful monochromatic purple eyeshadow palette. Oh, I just think it's so stunning and so beautiful. Um, this did come out very recently, and I do have a um, in-depth video up on this, so I'm not going to stay on it too long but um if you're interested you can go check out that video so yeah then i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and we're going to get ready to put this on okay so my eyes are primed and ready to go i did go in with the t's suit of armor eye primer and we are going to start this look out so i think i want to i want to start out with this shade right here called royalty and i want to just put this into my crease blending it up slightly so apparently when i say blending it up slightly i mean blending it all the way up <laughs> but we're going to take that same color and i'm going to bring it down to my lower lash line and just blow it out. Wrap this color all the way around my eyes. So I want to go ahead and deepen that outer corner just a bit. And I'm going to go in with this shade right down here called Balance. And I'm just going to pick this up with a Sigma E54 brush right here. And I'm going to put that in my outer corner. Take that same color and just lightly right on that outer third of my lower lash line, put it right there, just keeping all of my drama on that outer corner. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Okay, let's add some sparkle to this eye. I'm going to go in with my NYX um, glitter primer right here, tap a little bit on my lid. And we're going to do some sparkle. So I'm thinking for this look, I want to play with this shimmer shade up here called Rarity. And I want to put that all over my lid and then probably go in with Magical in my inner corner. Let's go ahead and start with Rarity. This color, oof, beautiful. I have full swatches of this palette in 
my dedicated video. I will link it down below. Look. Oh, so, so pretty. I think that this one is definitely tied for like my favorite purple eyeshadow palette. I can't decide between this one and another one, but this one is definitely one of them. For the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a Game Beauty EO8 brush, and I'm going to go into that color Magical. I'm just going to pick it up and tap it right here in my inner corner. I love that sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye look, and I will be right back. All right, y'all, so this finishes up the look with the Ultraviolet Palette with um, Bella Beauty Bar and Deandra Nicole. I absolutely love this look. I think it's beautiful. This, like I said, is one of my absolute favorite, if not my favorite. Oh, it's so hard, but it's one of my favorite monochromatic purple palettes. The Gothic palette from Cosmic Brushes is coming for it, but yeah, um, that is this completed look. Let me know what you think, and we're going to move on to the next palette. All right, y'all. So the next palette on my list is this one right here. This is the Castle of Horror palette from Ladybug Glow in collaboration with Blair Dale Inoue over on Instagram. This one was a Halloween release last year, and it is a purple moment for sure. Again, this is not a monochromatic purple palette, but I do absolutely love these purple tones in here. Even this kind of goes perfect with the purple tones as well. It just really, to me, this is a purple palette. I can get purple looks with it. So we're going to create a look with this today. So I'm going to start out with this shade right here called Potion. And I'm just going to pick up my Sigma or my Singe EO3 brush. And we're just going to pop this into the crease. My eyes are already primed with my Natasha Denona primer. And I think I'm going to keep this one a little on the lighter side and not do something as dramatic as I've been doing in all of the other looks. I want to keep it a little light and airy. So you can see that purples can also, you know, just be a little whimsical and fun. With that same brush and that same color, I'm just going to kind of fluff this under my lower lash line, bringing that color down. So now I'm going to go in with a Singe Beauty or is this an EO7 brush right here? And I'm just going to go into this shade down here called Witch Bitch. And I'm going to pop just a tiny bit of this in my outer corner. But I want to keep it pretty low. I just want to give a little bit of definition. I'm not really trying to create a dark, smoky look with this. I just want to fluff it right along that lower lash line and out just a little bit and then i'm also going to take this down to the bottom and fluff it out there as well so creating that tiny little wing So I want to go ahead and go in with some shimmer on my lid, but I want to keep it kind of precise and keep it away from what I've already lined. So I'm just going to take a Game Beauty EO4 brush right here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of my NYX glitter glue on this brush like that. And I'm just going to put this like above that line and on my lid where I want that shimmer to go. I do want to bring it down just a little bit on that liner and then bump it up to it, but I don't want to cover it. I'm going to take the same brush. I'm just going to flip it over to the side that doesn't have the glitter primer, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here 
called O4. And I'm just going to pick that up and put that on my lid where I put that glitter primer. Keeping this very precise. So for my inner corner, since there's not really a shade in this palette, I'm just going to go in with the highlighter that I used. It is this new one from Iconic London in the, the Lit and Luminous Baked Highlighter. So I'm just going to pick this up with a Morphe M213 brush. I'm just going to pop that right here in my inner corner. And then I am going to go off camera and finish up this look. And... I will be back to show you the completed look with this palette. All right, you guys. So this completes our look using the Castle of Horrors palette right here from Ladybug Glow in collaboration with Blairdale MUA. Uh, what do we think? I think this is a fun little look. I like the, the wing that I did. Um, they could use a little bit of help. I'm working on getting my wings down. But I really love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I like that we have other options in here than just purples. Um, this color goes beautiful. This one does. This is a really pretty purple shimmer as well that I didn't utilize for this look. But to finish off this look, all I went in in all I went in with was a ColourPop Multi-Chrome Liner in Actin' Up right here. And then I just threw some Blend Bunny Mascara on my lashes. I did not do a liquid liner since we used that darker purple to line my lid. And then on my lips, I threw on the Unearthly Lip Gloss in Admire. This came in their Valentine's Day Mystery Box. But yeah, I got a little purple monochromatic moment going on. But let's go ahead and move on to the next purple palette. So our next palette comes to us from Glam Light. This is um, the Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls palette right here. This was such a good release from Glam Light. I really enjoyed this one. But this is what this palette looks like right here. So again, it's not a monochromatic purple. But we do have these two shades here and this one. And then we also have these shimmers as well. So if you just take out those right there, it is a purple palette, but that's what we're going to play with today. We're going to play with the purples. So for this one, I am going to start with this shade in my crease, deepen up the crease with this one, outer corner here, and then I don't know yet. We will figure that out, but my eyes are primed and they are ready to go. So I am just going to grab my Singe Beauty E03 brush right here, and I'm going to go into that lighter purple shade, and we're going to work this into the crease. Next, I'm going to go in with a Singe Beauty E04 brush right here, and I'm going to go in with this next purple shade that's just a little bit darker. We're just going to work light to dark. So if you get lost, that's where we're at. And I'm going to put this in my outer corner. I'm actually going to bring this over about halfway, I think. Yeah, I'm going to bring that over about halfway. And we're going to blend up into that crease, keeping that same shape, kind of slightly winging it out a little bit. I'm just going to take that same shade and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line about halfway over. And then I'm going to go back with that first shade and kind of fluff it out a little bit. I'm just fluffing that lighter purple in the inner half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a Singe Beauty EO2 brush right here and we're going to go into this really dark 
purple shade over here and we're going to deepen up that outer corner and just tapping lightly because I am getting some fallout so I want to minimize that and I'm not bringing it in super far I'm not bringing it up really high I just want to deepen it let's do a shimmer so I've already gone in and put my NYX glitter glue on my lid I'm gonna go in with this shade right here um, actually no we're gonna go in with this shade down here and then I'm gonna put this one right where those colors meet up and I think we're gonna use this one for my inner corner so let's start with that first shimmer shade I do wish that this palette had shade names that is the only thing that I am not a fan of when it comes to this palette but that's really just like this reason So for my inner corner, I'm just picking up my Singe E01 brush, picking up that light purple shimmer, and I'm going to pop this right in the corner to give a really pretty like lavender sparkle inner corner. And I'm also going to drag it right under my lower lash line. Same thing over here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this look and I will be right back. All right, so this completes our look using the Scooby-Doo palette right here from Glamlight, The Creeps and Crawls. I really like the way that this one turned out. I love that there's just so many purples in here. I think they're beautiful. Glamlight has such an amazing formula, which is one of the reasons that I love this palette so, so much. But to finish off this look, I went in with my Glamlight Calligrapher eyeliner on my lid. I popped in a NYX Epic Wear liner in Fierce Purple in my waterline, and then my Blend Bunny mascara, of course. And then on my lips is just the Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Lip Gloss in Lavender Sorbet. And that completes this look. We have one more palette left to go in my purple palette favorites series thing that I have going on. So let's go ahead and jump into that look. Okay, we are back with our final palette of all of these purple palettes that I have been showing off from my collection that I just love so much. And last but not least, one of my absolute favorites that came out last year is the Gothic palette right here from Cosmic Beauty, which is formerly Cosmic Brushes. And this one came out right around Halloween. And she is an absolute stunner. Just the most beautiful, perfect, monochromatic palette. Another one that is done right. It's a tie between this one and the Ultraviolet as to which one is my absolute favorite. But I just love both so, so much. So let's create a look with this one. My eyes are already primed with my Natasha Denona primer. And I think for this look, I'm going to start with this shade right here. That is the color Phantom. And I am just going to take a Singe Beauty E04 brush right here. And we're going to tap this into the outer corner. Building up that color. So, so beautiful. So I'm taking that same brush with no extra product. And all I'm doing is just lightly fluffing out that edge dispersing the color so it's not really harsh taking my singe beauty eo2 brush right here i'm going to go in with this shade called serpent and i just want to fluff that on the inner half of my lid right next to that color that we just did going to continue fluffing that right along 
the first shade that we did just so we have a nice cohesive look my brush is barely touching my eye I just want a very soft gradient effect moving on to the lower lash line I'm going to go in with this color right here called supreme with a Sigma e33 brush and I am just going to fluff this along my lower lash line Let's add some sparkle to this look, guys. So I'm going to go in with this shade up here in the corner. This is an absolutely beautiful multi-chrome. It is called Chosen. And I'm just going to pop that all along my lid. Oh, look at that. So pretty. To add some sparkle into my inner corner, I'm just going to go in with this shade right here called Obscure with a Game Beauty E08. We're just gonna pick this up on the brush and pop it into my inner corner. That color is so, so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye look. And I will be right back to show you the completed look with the Gothic palette. And this is the final look using the Gothic palette right here. What do y'all think? I really love this one. I think it's beautiful. But let me tell you what I used to finish this look off with. So for my waterline, I went in with my NYX Epic Wear Liner in the color of Fierce Purple. And then I lined my lid with my Glam Light Calligrapher eyeliner right here, and I threw on my Blend Bunny mascara. And for my lips, my combo that I use comes to us from Unearthly. It is the lip pencil in the color Carnage right here. And then I grabbed a lipstick from the Dreamer collection that came out for the holidays, and this is the color Vision. And that is what I have on my lips. But what do we think? I love it. I absolutely love this palette. I love the colors that are in it. I love that this is such an affordable brand as well. Um, this is a smaller one of the palettes that they've come out with, but I'm excited to see what else they do. But yeah, this completes all seven looks with my favorite purple eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And now I want to hear from you. Which look was your favorite? Which palette is your favorite? Um, do you have any of these? Is there a purple palette that's maybe your favorite that I missed? Also, what's your favorite eyeshadow color? Because I also absolutely love greens and I love a good orange and a red. I love them all really, but purple just speaks to my soul. And there's something about a purple palette that no matter how many I have, I need more. I could have done more, but I stuck to seven. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments do you want to see another video doing maybe green eyeshadows or maybe we could do a different kind we could do neutrals we could do rainbows let me know what your thoughts are let me know what you want to see and i want to thank you all so much for being here today i want to thank you for spending your time with me and watching my video and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel because I do post most days if not every single day and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. So until my next video, have a good one. Bye.